videos, I've shown how some elements of business functionality that you currently have locked into Oracle Forms applications can be surfaced onto mobile devices without changing a single line of Forms code. Now in this episode, I'll give you an insight into the architecture of Forms mobilization using Oracle Mobile Cloud Service and the Oracle Player Connector. Thanks for joining me, Grant Ronald from the Oracle Mobile Platform Team. Now, before starting, it's worth reiterating that we're not talking about taking a Forms application as is and completely re-rendering it through a mobile device. That really doesn't make sense, given the typical complexity of a Forms screen. The idea here is to identify and design mobile-specific use cases, but be able to exploit any business logic that you've already got running in Oracle Forms. So maybe your mobile use case is a subset of what you can do on the Forms application. Simpler, mobile specific use case, but still requiring common back-end business logic that you're already running. So how does all of this work under the covers? Now, as you may already know, Oracle Forms runs in a three-tier architecture. Data is held in an Oracle database, the form server, which contains all the form's business logic, runs on the web logic server, and the user interface is rendered using Java. So when you initiate a forms application, you enter the URL of the forms app into a browser. This will go to the form server, start the forms runtime process, which then downloads some Java code, which knows how to draw forms components, such as text fields and buttons. And from this point on, the Forms UI talks to the Forms server to request things like data or to alert the Forms runtime that a button has been clicked. So for example, the Forms UI might tell the Forms server on the customer form, someone's just pressed the create button and here's the data which is currently in my fields. And the form server would execute the code associated with the button using the supply data and then possibly returning a message. Or in the employee forms UI, the user might enter a field such as hire date, then press the execute query button. In which case, the forms UI would pass down the hire date to the form server and also ask it to execute the code associated with the query button. And forms would typically return some data to be displayed in the UI. Now in both these cases, something quite simple is actually happening. The Forms UI is sending data associated with the fields on the screen and is asking the Forms server to initiate an action associated with a UI component, such as a button action. The Forms server then responds with data which should be displayed in appropriate fields, or maybe it responds with a message, for example in the case of an error. So what if we were able to mimic the Forms UI and instead of the Forms client kicking off the Forms runtime process, but instead we were to able to play Forms messages directly into the Forms server using the same communication protocol. So if we wanted to create a new customer as we do in the Forms Create Customer screen, we wouldn't actually need the Forms UI to do it if we knew the correct protocol with which to speak to the Forms server. So we could just send the same message that the Forms UI would send if it were running. So that might be customer name, location, email, and then an indication to execute the forms code associated with the create customer button. Now the question is, how do we know how to speak the language that the forms server understands? And this is where the magic comes in. We have a partner with a solution called Aura Player. Now this is a unique connector that can be called from Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. And the Aura Player Connector knows how to talk to the Forms server and it knows how to handle a response from the Forms server. All you have to do is define each of the use cases you want to expose and Aura Player will create a web service for each of those use cases, which can then easily be plugged into Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. So, going back to our previous example, if you wanted to create a customer in the Forms system without needing to go through the Forms UI, you could get Aura Player to create a web service that will trigger the create button which is associated with the customer form. And that web service would accept parameters, each of which map to any field that you want on the customer form. And of course, to complete the picture, the Aura Player connector would typically be called through Oracle Mobile Cloud Service from the custom developed mobile application. 
So you might be asking, how do I actually create the Aura Player web service? So to create web service, there's actually a one-time step which involves you automatically generating the services using the Aura Player recording tool. So using the tool, you run forms and then you specify which fields are to be used for inputting data and hence will become input parameters into the web service. And which fields indicate data you want returned from forms and this will be represented as data returned from the web service call. So as you can see here, each of the fields that appear in a form that I want for my mobile use case are then created as in or out parameters in the web service. And like any other web service, you can easily call from Oracle Mobile Cloud Service. And that is basically how you can use Oracle Mobile Cloud Service and the Aura Player Connector to create new mobile-specific business processes on top of your existing Oracle Forms business logic. Thank you very much for watching and keep an eye out for some of our other videos on this solution.